Welcome to another edition of No Time Tony. Today we're doing the flat bench, arm, chest, and core circuit. Look, you need your bench, of course, your mat, and a pair of dumbbells. Let's get right to it. Okay, let's kick everything off with the reverse palm dumbbell presses. Have your palms facing you as though you're about to curl, put them by the hips, and then press up toward the shoulders. There you go, from the hips to the shoulders. And please keep in mind that your palm positioning has to face you as though you're about to curl, but you're really pressing up. So it's a dumbbell press approach with a bicep curl palm positioning. That's the best way to think about it. Go from your hips to your shoulders, pressing up, just like you would with a bicep curl, except you're pressing. So your chest gets involved more, and we're gonna knock these down for 20 reps. Keep that in mind. You wanna go at your own pace too, all right? When you knock down these 20 reps, go to pace you can handle. You might have to get a quick shake off in between to finish the rest of them. However you have to get this done, find the appropriate weight range for yourself, all right? And remember, knock down 20 reps when you do this and exhale at the top. See what I'm doing? Exhale at the top. So every time you press up, you wanna breathe out. That's it, there you go. You wanna go ahead and breathe out, yep every single time be cognizant of that keep those chests up and you'll be good to go all right so keep that in mind when you're doing these all right now we're going to take a one minute rest if you had to finish off a few more reps or if you got done right on time either way it works out okay now the next exercise is time based speaking of time we're gonna go for 40 seconds, all right? We're doing decline push-ups. That's going to consist of you putting your toes up on the edge of your flat bench, pretty much the midpoint of the flat bench, not too close to the edge, but kind of, you know, semi-middle of the flat bench. And you're gonna have your upper body at the bottom of the position with your hands on the floor. See, that's where the decline name comes in with the exercise title. So for your decline push-ups, your hands are gonna be on the ground and your toes are going to be up on the bench, all right? We're doing this for 40 seconds. Feel ready, right? Feel ready, feel intense and feel relaxed at the same time because you got this. Bring that intensity, but stay relaxed. You got this. It's gonna be tough, but you're tougher. Okay, let's get into position. Toes up, palms down, nose down, and push up. Exhale at the top. Exhale at the top, and keep your body on that nice diagonal slope. Keep your lower body up, all right? So that way you keep that nice diagonal slope and keep going. You'll feel it in your chest. Your chest are gonna be screaming at you. Your shoulders, your arm, you'll feel it in your abs because it's helping to neutralize that position that core, right? They're helping to neutralize that position. Your abdominal muscles are getting involved heavily. So keep going. There we go, good, good, good. Almost 10 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Get one more in and break. Next up, we have alternating drop presses. See, with drop presses, it's going to be a special way that you count the reps. We're doing 20 reps again, but this is how it goes. Both arms are up at the same time. You'll see what I mean, but you're dropping one at a time. So it'll be drop, drop, and then you press both up, right? So it's a single drop of each arm, and then you're going to go ahead and take both arms and drop them to press back up. And that's how you're going to count. One, one, two, three, three, four, five, five, six. And those double counts are when you isolate one arm at a time for the drop, okay? You'll see what I mean by the time we get started. So get ready to lie on your back and do those alternating drop presses. Okay, let's lie back. Your chest are really gonna be felt and your shoulders. And go. One, one, two, three, three, four, five, five, 
six, seven, seven, eight, nine, and keep breathing. Nine, 10, you wanna breathe every time you press. 11, 11, 12, 13, 13, 14, 15, 15, just five more. 16, 17, 17, 18, 19, 19, 20. Okay, you can sit up and break. Okay, now we have single leg tricep dips coming up. The reason that these are so effective in targeting the upper body, including your core, and your legs get involved a little bit too, as far as them being targeted as muscle groups. But back to my point, the reason why your upper body gets targeted so much is just off the strength that it doesn't have double the support. See, when both of your legs are down, it has double the support. But when one leg is up, it forces the upper body to carry more of your body weight because the foundation is split in half. All right, foundation being your legs. Now you're going to start off by extending one leg out straight, and then we're going to go ahead and switch to the other side and do the same thing. It's 40 seconds total, 20 seconds per side as far as the leg extension goes. Either way, you're getting those dips in the whole time. All right, so get ready to begin that. Get into position by holding onto the bench. All right, let's get to it. Okay, let's put those palms down, knuckles facing forward. Let's start by extending our right leg out, all right? And we're gonna dip down. There you go. Exhale at the top. Control the drop, control the lift. One down, one up. One down, one up. 10 seconds left until we switch, all right? There we go, good. Keep going, keep going. Yep, good. Keep it up, dip. All right, now let's switch over so we can catch the other side. Boom, there you go. Good, keep it up, keep going, keep pushing through. There you go, you see what I mean? You feel that upper body getting that intensity, supporting more of your body weight. Keep going, here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, great. Look, next up we have single arm dumbbell presses. And just like the name says, you're gonna use a single arm. So we're using one arm at a time, all right? We'll be getting 20 reps in with a traditional palm placement, meaning your palms are facing forward as you would in the event that you had both of the dumbbells at the same time, except we're isolating one dumbbell. So as soon as we do 20 reps on one side, we're going to pass it off to the other side and do 20 reps as well, all right? And make sure you breathe at the top of the movement you know the usual dumbbell press protocol, breathing at the top of the movement, pressing up until the arm gets that nice good sensation. You'll feel it in the chest as well, the shoulders. And remember while we do this, challenges create change. And the opposite hand can be in a position that you're comfortable with. I recommend putting the opposite hand on your stomach as you'll see in the demonstration, all right? We're going to get started soon. So get ready to go right now. Okay, pick one dumbbell up, put it on your thigh to rest it. Then you can lie back and let's start with the right arm. One, there you go. Two, three, exhale at the top. Four, five, see how my left arm is in a position six where my hand is on my stomach. Seven, and the elbow is bent. Eight, nine, feel free to do the same. 10. Yep, 10, nine, eight, keep exhaling at the top, breathing is important, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, okay, roll that dumbbell over to the other side and go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, ten, nine. See how I'm pressing straight up? Eight, there you go. Seven, it's centered and my arm goes straight. Six, there you go. Five, that's it. Four, you'll feel it on those chests. Three, of course the arms and shoulders as well. Two, last one. One, bring the dumbbell in, sit up and break. Okay, now we have a quick switch up. Let's go down to the ground and do bench crunches. You're gonna put your heels up and cross your feet we're gonna go ahead and crunch up, but your head never touches the ground and let the opposite hand touch the opposite knee. There you go, good, keep going. Good, exhale each time you reach for that opposite knee, keep going. There you go, remember your head never touches the ground and notice how in between each crunch, both of my hands touch my temple until it's time for me to come up and reach. See, you're coming up because of your abs. Your hands just follow up and they do the finishing touch. Let your core get you up there. There you go. You don't have to reach too far because you're crunching up. There we go, good, keep going though, keep it up, good, good. Exhale every time, breathe out. Every time you breathe out, mildly blow out. There you go, good, keep going. That's it, good, keep going strong. Come on, come on, let's eat. I know it's tough. Listen, we're down to our final 17 seconds. Keep going, there we go, good. I'm gonna count us down from 10, we're almost there. Come on, keep fighting through. I know your core is flaring up. 10, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Break. Lastly, let's take a moment to do our cool down stretch. All right. Let's start with our right foot. Let's put our right heel up on the bench and reach for our toes. And hold that out. Here you go. Relax with the breathing. You'll feel the stretch in your hamstrings, your hips, your lower back. You'll feel it on each side that way, all right? Nine seconds left before we switch up. There you go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, put that right foot down. Now let's do the opposite side and reach. Let's hold. There you go. Good. Today was great. Just use everything that happened today as symbolism on why you keep pushing and why you take everything moment by moment. And before you know it, you reach that goal, that objective. And those goals keep coming. Life is an ongoing journey. It's better health, better self, physically and mentally. I'm gone. Mm -hmm.